In this video, I fix brake problems on the Mighty Mighty Proton and take it to the local garage to see what they reckon about the MOT. Well, it truly is the joys of summer as a, a neighbour irritatingly strims with as much noise as possible, but started work on the Proton. So we've got the wheel off, um, discs not looking too brilliant. But the pads both show a good amount of um, meat on them. So despite the fact this caliper has been binding, it isn't binding too badly. That leaves me feeling hopeful. But yeah, pl plenty of meat visible through here on the pads. So I think I'm just going to pull the caliper apart and just clean it up as much as possible. And hope that a few miles might clean these icky discs up a bit. Well, I'm in. And um, yeah, definitely a bit of damage around the rubber on the piston. So that's not particularly helpful. But the pads are in pretty decent nick. So I'll probably clean them up and clean these edges. Look, you can see that's not particularly happy sliding back and forth. So just get everything off, clean it all up and hope for the best. So I've pulled the... Um, ripped seal off and you can see the pistons quite rusty itself so um, I can see it's quite scratched as well so it's obviously quite manky in there the easiest option would simply to be to buy a new caliper and I will go and price that up but you can usually buy the pistons and the seals separately and I have replaced those before it's a lot more faff it's a lot easier to just replace the caliper but seeing as I only paid 50 pounds for the entire car I don't really want to go blowing money I haven't got on um, the easy option. That's what I'm saying at the moment. Let's see what I actually do next. I've decided these brake discs need cleaning up. So I've got some emery um, paper and I'm just... It's cleaning the discs up quite nicely actually. Believe it or not, uh, I've now got a new caliper. So I'm going to fit that. Hopefully we can get this thing driving. And here we go. Brand new caliper. Uh, well, it's a reconditioned caliper. That's looking good. It's also come in a Lucas box. Um, so hopefully it won't start leaking electrics everywhere. But yeah, just going to quickly undo the union. And I can whack it on. And there we go. It's fitted. That simple. Um, just need to bleed it now. I just cracked off the bleed nipple and um, we'll get some fresh fluid into the line. Um, this is the old caliper which I did make the mistake of trying to rebuild and um, just don't do it. I mean the piston and the seal kit cost me 20 quid. Uh, a complete caliper cost me 43 quid. It's just a no-brainer. Calipers are so fiddly to rebuild and I ended up destroying the seals, the new seals as I was trying to fit them to the old caliper. It's just pointless. Just don't do it. Oh, lesson learned. Here we go then. It's um, MOT time for the plucky proton. There we go. It's um, absolutely pouring down because it's whales. I'll operate my rotating dial to put the wipers into intermittent mode. Look at that. Can't see any splits on the wiper blade, so they should be okay. Check we've got screen wash. Yep. I don't think they're very good wiper blades. Uh, put the rear wiper on. Oh, that's not a very good blade. Also, the rear wiper doesn't park, so I have to try and stop it in the right place. Ah! Well, other than that, quality motor vehicle. I'm gonna put my lights on because it's mucky. I'll go back because I'm reversed onto a brick. Here we go, no power steering. This is it, I'm taking my Proton for a drive. The good news is it doesn't appear to be raining on my head, so the sunroof, which I know all you Malaysians are well gel of, um, perhaps it doesn't leak as badly as I feared when I bought the car and it was wrapped in plastic. It doesn't pull all that cleanly. Uh, 
I think it would benefit from a service and I probably should have thought to do that before the MOT but we'll see how she does first of all stuck behind a van Very nice driving position, I'd appreciate somewhere to rest my clutch foot, but it's certainly not an unpleasant car to drive. I've still got an issue where the temperature gauge is up at the top, I'm not getting an accurate reading on that, but I have tested the car and let it get up to temperature to the point that the pan kicks in, so it should be alright for the duration of the MOT test. Gosh, this van's going slowly. This car's got 84,000 miles on the clock, so it's not exactly um, high mileage. Yeah, it's not astonishingly good brakes. Oh, a bit better on the second time, let's get them all cleaned up. Oh yeah, that, that's... I'm definitely getting some braking power there. I'm almost there, so let's go for an MOT test. Well, I'm back home with a Proton, which didn't fail the MOT. However, it didn't pass it either, because the lads at the garage, knowing it was going to fail on some points I'll show you in a moment, they said, it's not really worth doing that. What we'll do, we'll have a quick look around it, tell you if there's anything it's going to need on top of what I know about. So um, st let's start at the front with known issues. There's a hole in this indicator, um, which means it's showing a bit of white light. MOT testers don't like that. I either need to get some orange tape on it or replace the indicator unit. Uh, this number plate is actually cracked. It's in very poor condition. They don't like that. They want that sorted out, which is fair enough. Tester didn't like the rear plate particularly, um, because that has started to delaminate here, um, this, around the screw hole because water gets in and it just starts delaminating the whole plate. In fact, it, it's not very good in general, so I think I'm going to get some new number plates. Whether I get them made up in this style dealer plate type remains to be seen. The biggest problem that we knew about was in this wheel arch. Uh, bear with me while I insert you into my wheel arch. And up there at the top, you can see there's a fair sized hole. But it's good solid metal, so I don't think it'll be too difficult to weld that up. Um, slightly invisible from here. That steering rack gator is um, torn. Um, that was something I knew about, so I know that needs sorting out. Um, but I thought I'd get it in for MOT and see what else that they found. But that was it. They didn't find anything else. We did a brake test. The brakes are just about good enough, but I think I might try and get the rears apart to have a look. But all this is going to have to wait for another video, because we need to take the 2CV to Ireland and gather parts for the Proton. So you'll have to wait for another video on the Proton. Uh, so do subscribe and you'll be told when that video is live. And uh, I shall see you again. Farewell.